Cardiff, should we? That's where the King and Queen are heading today. Our political editor, Darren McCaffrey, is there for us. I mean, as we keep saying, um, Darren, I mean, it's absolutely relentless for the King at the moment. Yeah, it is indeed. Uh, this is his uh, visit to uh, Cardiff uh, today, but it's part of a tour that's taken him uh, not just in and around London to Highgrove yesterday, uh, but clearly to Edinburgh and to Northern Ireland uh, all this week. I've been following around this week uh, and I feel pretty tired, uh, so I try to think how he uh, feels. But yes, good morning from Cardiff Castle, where people are uh, generally very excited about what's going to happen here in the hours to come. We are expecting uh, King Charles to arrive what later on this morning, uh, where he's going to attend uh, several uh, events, a bit like what we've seen actually in uh, Edinburgh and uh, Belfast. So first of all, he's going to uh, go to the cathedral for a service of remembrance and commemoration and indeed celebration for Queen Elizabeth II uh, at Landaff Cathedral. And then he's going to go to the Senate uh, where he's going to meet political leaders and hear a motion of condolence. He was there only last October opening up a new session of the Senate alongside his mother. So that will be his second visit in less than a year. A more sombre occasion, though it must be said, this time. And then he'll come here to Cardiff Castle, where he's going to meet uh, lots of dignitaries and, indeed, the people of Wales. And I don't know if you can see in the background, uh, there are some of them already starting to gather at, what, just after uh, 6 a.m. He's not expected here until uh, much later on in uh, the afternoon. Uh, but it is part of this schedule, isn't it, of trying to connect uh, with the public in the different constituent parts of the UK. But clearly, Wales will hold a very, very special place for King Charles. He was the Prince of Wales uh, for many, many decades indeed. He owns a property here. He knows this country uh, very, very well. He's got an awful lot of affection here. Though it must be said that not everyone is on the same page. There are people who are expected to protest and um, who do not like the fact that the Prince of Wales title has already been conferred to his son, uh, Prince William. Uh, and there is a, a somewhat of a growing independence movement here. But on the whole, uh, the monarchy is very, very well supported across Wales.